we've showed you how to do it the Urbio style. We're going to show you the DIY style. Please, Antonio Belushi, give him a big hand. Thank hi, you. Hi. How are you? Good, good. So we can make our own vertical wall, can't we? Exactly. Well, you can anyways. Well, we're going to make one together. We're going to make one together, our own little vertical wall. These are. This is what you've made, which yeah. I think is just so beautiful. So this was actually a box that people keep their fine cutlery in. Oh, nice. And I turn it into a vertical planter, and we're going to go through the steps. And this was actually an old cassette storage box. Oh, lovely. And that's Because apparently we don't use cassettes anymore, I know. do we? And sadly, I mean, I grew up in the time of cassettes. Me so too. that We'll leave that like that. Yeah. So we, we're going to start with a box. And you really want a box that's about three or four inches deep, and you want something that's strong enough to carry soil and planting right. and plants. And the great thing about these types of boxes is that it has actually support already built in. Oh, that's because true. it has these pieces in here. So when you're putting in your plant, it's actually going to give it some support when you stand it up. Okay. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get landscape fabric. And this you can get at a gardening store or a building supply store. And it's really great because it actually holds water. It's kind of like, I hate to say it, but it's like a diaper for plants. Oh, it is. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to position your landscape fabric and you're going to lay it on the inside and you're going to really just cover the whole interior and you're going to want to staple it in place and, okay. you, and you really want to make a big cavity so you can put as much soil and as much of a plant in there. Because that's how they're going to stay. Exactly. You need that depth so that they're going to stay in there. And so we have one already here that I started out and you know what, I must tell you Tracy, when I go out shopping looking for things, yes. I sort of have something in mind and I thought what if I found a little cupboard? Yes. And made it, a, and I found this, you and found I was, a I, cover. and this is exactly what I wanted, because when you open the doors, and there'll be plants all inside. Oh, that's so. Isn't that the cutest so thing? So cute. So I've already stapled the landscape fabric already inside. Yep. And I really try to make the cavities nice and deep, so it yeah. will fit a lot of soil. Can so, I ask where you actually found that? Where did you end up finding it? I actually found this one at a Goodwill. Good. Good. All, right. All these products came from like Salvation Army Goodwill. And Very Village. nice. All right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take a little bit of soil. I didn't bring gloves, so I'm just going to do it myself here. We'll do it the dainty way with a little scoop. Yeah, we'll do it a little. We don't want to get any dirt in I those know. pretty nails of yours. And I mean, I never really gardened with a tie on, but I mean, I'm just here today <laughs> like that. So you take your plant and you really, you know, it's important to remember that you're not planting a forest here or a vegetable garden. Yes. You're looking for lightweight plants and you really want to just sort of break it up and put in some more soil. Right. And like Shai said, the plant that's going to, you know, last maybe more than 24 hours. Exactly. A and plant like us. And so this is not going to take up a lot of water. Yep. And so what you're going to do is you're going to lay out your plant like so. And then you're going to get landscape mesh and all these things you can get at a building supply store. And I hope you can see this. I'm just going to hold it up straight. I'll do this so you can see in front. But so there you go. it's a mesh and it's plastic and it looks like dirt. So when you cover it up, you're not going to notice it. So what you're going to do is you're going to, I'm just going to move some stuff out of the way. Yep. So what you're going to do is you're going to start on one end and you're going to place your, your mesh in place and you're going to take your stapler and you're going to staple it in place. And you won't really notice the after staples. a while. Exactly, because okay. it's going to be underneath. And then what you're going to do is you're going to want to take your mesh and you're going to want to cover the plantings and you're going to want to staple it on the other end. Oh, and then are you going to put the plant through? Yeah, we're going to. through? If I can just, I don't normally do DIYs upside down, but I'm going to try today. I just don't want you to staple one of your pretty fingers. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay, you're good. So there we go. Now you've got this plant that wants to peep through. So you're going to just oh, cut. Oh, I see. So that's how you hold it in place. Exactly. But the plant can still come out. So you want to cut a couple of holes. Mm -hmm. And then you want to gently feed the plant through. Yeah, very gentle and gingerly because exactly. we, we don't want to destroy the plant before yeah. we've even got our garden exactly. planted, right? And so when, you, when you've got this all done, what you really yeah. want to do is leave the plant boxes horizontal for a couple of weeks. That way it gives the roots a chance Packed to establish yeah. and then you can raise it as I did over here. That is very nice. I've always wondered how these stay, how they stay when they're vertical, but the, the wire is going to do it and then giving it that time to really come together exactly. horizontally. And one last thing I want to show yeah. you. How you can hang these on the wall is with flush mount hardware. So it's basically two pieces that come together. Okay. And they literally just slide in so, like so. Oh, that's easy. Okay. All right. If you go to our website, cityline.ca, you can find instructions on Antonio's DIY vertical garden. I think you did a great job. Thank you.